I've never reviewed a USB-C hub before, but I guess there's a first time for everything. I first got the Anchor 7-in-1 USB-C hub in December of 2020. During this time, I was working from home and had just purchased a MacBook Air. I actually purchased two different USB-C hubs, the Anchor and one cheaper model. I initially started using the Anchor with my MacBook because I needed more ports and options for it, um, being a photographer. And after a while of using the hub on my Mac, it actually failed. I was able to figure out that the USB-C hub had actually failed. And that's the Anchor one. It was within a certain time frame, so I was able to contact them and they sent me out a new one. No questions asked. I didn't have to send back the old one or anything like that. It was pretty good. It was an excellent customer service experience. The downside is that I've actually had a second one fail now. The replacement just failed. Um, we're talking August 2023, but this is a piece of hardware I would expect to just last. I don't expect a USB-C hub to be something that's going to fail very often. Um, and so I've gone through two of these in less than three years. Because of that, I don't think I would recommend it. I honestly think if I contacted Anchor, they might be able to send me another one. Their customer service was really good, and that's a bonus for the company. I use their charging cables all the time and really love them. I think that they're a great product for the price. At the same time I got the Anchor USB-C hub, I got a off-brand one, and I think I paid maybe $10 for it. It's a 5-in-1, so it's missing two different options that the Anchor has. It's actually still held up. I have no problems with it. Uh, three years later, I actually ordered it a few days before the Anchor. Once the second Anchor failed, I had to start using this one on my work computer again. I'd kind of set it aside and would use it if I was in my chair or something. I would use it for editing photos off the SD card. It was kind of a backup and now it's it's back to being the primary. I don't like it quite as much because it doesn't have the power option. Again, it was cheap and it works without fail. So I've been using that one and will probably just continue to use that for my work laptop as I don't use very many USB ports for that. I'd also been using that cheaper one with my MacBook and the anchor on my work computer. I replaced the one on my MacBook with the Wavelink 7 and 2 hub, and it seems to be doing an excellent job as well. I haven't had any problems with it connecting or anything like that. I do think that the Anchor USB hubs are a little bit of a dud, and I don't recommend them. Again, their support's pretty good, but I don't think the product is all that great. Something causes it to fail. I have a theory it could be related to the USB-C power that's on it. And that's one thing that's different between the $10 one and the, the Anchor one that keeps failing. I'll post some affiliate links to some of these products. And if you're interested and want to order them, that would be amazing. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Till the next time.